welcome back to the Friendship Express. Yes. This is the first episode after the the terrible hum of Pikmin episode 6. It should sound a lot better now. Oh, hell yeah. And uh, we know how to defeat the boss now, so... But I'm not doing that one right now. I'm doing something entirely different. Alrighty. Do uh, your thing. Do I your actually, thing. I'm back at the starting area now. Oh, that is kind of cute. Yeah, that's fucking awesome. That's what it is. I've been using that word a lot lately. Yeah, hey, you said why. cute a lot. Look at all the blue Pikmin I have. I have a lot. I got a lot of... Liquid ocelots. Oh, that's right. Liquid ocelot. <laughs> Get it right. <laughs> need some liquid ocelots. I need, uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna definitely need my, all my Pattersons. And, uh, a couple of Brungles. Just a couple of them? They're not too important? Uh, no. Brungles are actually, like, the most... The quintessential... The quid quid The quintessential... Quintessential... Pikmin. Pikmin. And also the most expendable. <laughs> yeah. So I've noticed. Yeah. You have, like, a... Shit ton of them. Okay. Uh, go. But, uh. Wins, wins. Yeah, so. Who doesn't. Let me explain the fucking rig we have right now just to make sure that this buzzing shit doesn't happen again. Yeah. Um, so. We realized it was a mic cable, so we need a new mic cable. But for now, we were like, okay, we need. The, this was like really like the only day where we could get a lot of shit done. Yeah. So. We're like, okay, what are we gonna do? And I just grabbed some of my fucking scotch tape and, and <laughs> Tyler just started going around it. And then like, we had to like, still like rig it around a little bit just to make sure yeah. that it wasn't causing any buzzing. So that's that's our plight right now. Um, it's whatever, but I mean, we really just need a new mic cable, I think. Oh yeah, absolutely. If That's that doesn't solve the problem, then I'm just gonna punch Tyler square in the dick. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck is that thing? Is that a boss? I don't know what it is. I'm gonna stay away from it. It does not look kind. <laughs> ah, it just looks like it wanted to talk. It was like, hey, uh, have you know. seen, have you seen Ghostbusters 2? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, did I tell you, uh, did I talk about how I met an extra from Ghostbusters the other day? Yeah, but okay. you can you can talk about it on the show. Did I did I talk about it on the show? I don't think you did. Okay. That looks like a dick. But continue. Uh, well, I, I just met a guy who was an extra on Ghostbusters. He was like, he was someone that he they thought they might need as a stuntman. He was just like a, like a, a stand-in for the stuntman. Yeah. And he was just there, so he was like, okay, you can be an extra. So they paid him just to, like, you know. <laughs> Pretty cool. Rich was telling me about him, you know? Yeah. I'm not gonna say I wanna be. I wanna be an extra. Uh, yeah, if I, I can know, at least right? do that, that'd be kind of cool. Uh, and I would be one of those really lame... Well, like, most people that are extras that have, like, that really lame moment, they're like, look, I'm right there! And then oh, it's yeah. like, they're like a little, like, pixel of the fucking screen. Yeah. <laughs> look, that's me. I would I would do that all the time. Be like, hey guys, look, look, look. This is the part I'm in. Look, look, look. And it's like for half a second. It's like, did you see me? You see me? Uh, no. Oh no, look again, look again. Oh, I'll, I'll rewind it. Oh, do you see? It's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I just think that's so funny. Like people that are like, that. oh yeah, totally. That I I had a history teacher that was an extra in some like oh, JFK God. movie, and he showed us like. He, he didn't even show us a movie, he just had a screenshot of like that <laughs> one little scene that he's in. Uh, what JFK movie was it, do you know? I don't know. Like, I what, are all, what is everyone doing over here? I know it's like, I think it's one from the 80s, that's about oh, all okay. I remember. But... Well, that's cool. Yeah. I've never been in a movie. Except for, <laughs> uh, like, homemade movies. Dude, did I ever tell you, like, about how when... When I was a little kid, I always used to, like, on sound recorder and, like, at the shitty computer mic, mm -hmm. I used to do radio shows. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, we just used to, like, always record, like, interviews and radio shows. That's amazing. Yeah, it's just, like, so, like, I guess that's why this kind of came sort of naturally to me. <laughs> it's like, today we have on, uh, Anthony. Uh, yeah, that's, ex that's literally what it was. <laughs> and have you, you've seen The Ladies Man, haven't you? No. Oh, okay, well, my, my, my cousin did, uh... His little, his own little spin on that, and we recorded it with the video camera. Yeah. I don't know if we have. Actually, you know what? I think the tape does does exist somewhere. I used to have um, a tape recorder that I would use, um, and I would literally just record myself playing guitar for like four or five hours huh. on like one single like cassette. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It was like 
I was like half practicing, like half like just doing random shit most yeah, of the time. Yeah, yeah. It was really weird, but like, I think I I, I don't think I have them anymore, which is kind of sad. But oh man, that sucks. Yeah. Shit. Oh, I just killed a liquid ocelot. It probably has like a lot of uh, a lot of like memories and like a lot of riffs I yeah never ended up using or did end up using. I I would imagine. Okay, there's space part in here that I need to get. The... Yes. Nah, I used to write like really fucking. Slots. I used to write really shitty songs. Like I thought they were like so cool back um, in the day, and yeah, then I was too. like, <laughs> "You've heard them all." Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, like you know what I, I had. Say, you? Yeah, I, I had a like couple good ones. Like New Life is pretty decent. Oh yeah. But uh, I'm not talking about like the fourth degree burn stuff is like half decent. But like, uh, you mean like all decent, <laughs> full decent, all the way? But uh, core. but I'm talking about like my first year of like writing songs. Yeah, I had one. One of the first ones I wrote was uh, "Chillin' at the Bahamas." <laughs> what? It was so bad. <laughs> Is that like a, a John Frusciante song about uh, that he wrote about a bully when he used to play baseball? It was like called uh, "Fuck." I'm trying to remember the. <laughs> uh, fuck Jose, that's the name of the song. Fuck Jose. No, it was, it was like, it didn't even have words. It was just, it was just like one riff, the whole fucking song. <laughs> like that, that, that's why like most of the songs I wrote back then fucking sucked because it'd just be like one riff for like, yeah, for like four minutes and just like little variations on it. I still remember how to play it, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab the guitar right now. Okay, do it. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. No, man, it's, it's cool. Go for it. All right, three chords. <laughs> three chords? Yep. Yeah. It was like that. It's hell of a lot better than anything I've ever written. <laughs> but imagine that going on for like four or five minutes. I'm laughing already. <laughs> So oh, yeah. That's one of the ones I remember. Beans. And then some of them, like when I went back and and just like looked at them, like a lot of them made no sense, like mm -hmm. music theory wise. <laughs> I'd be like, this doesn't amount to anything. It's just noise. Cause like I I didn't start learning music theory till about like two or three years into my guitar playing because mm -hmm. I got this book called uh, The Guitar Grimoire and it taught me like a lot of stuff about guitar and music theory. Oh yeah? So I just like, I I learned a lot of what I know just from that, just like I self-taught myself the music theory I know. But uh, yeah, like that that's when I, I learned how to like break the rules. Like like there's there's a difference between like, you know, like not knowing what you're doing and yeah. knowing what you're doing, but knowing how to like how to like twist it a bit. Yeah. So that when I started doing that, my my songs became a lot better and started making a lot more sense. Yeah. So thank God for like 13 year old me being like music theory is cool. Yeah. Because <laughs> most 13 year olds would probably be like, yeah, uh, I'm a rocker. No. I I rock too hard for music theory. I'm, I'm too punk rock for this. I just gotta break all the rules. <laughs> Pizza guys, I just love it. <laughs> Pizza is the essence of life. <laughs> you, guys, you guys gotta search that video too. Every pop punk vocalist, the Jeff and I, the uh, my drummer, I think I, I've mentioned him on the show before. Yeah, so yeah. you guys should know who Jeff is. Uh, Jeff and I, like, whenever we see each other, we just reference that video all the fucking time. I check, haven't met check Jeff Check with our yet. merch guy, Krusty! I've been here for a month, and I haven't met Jeff. You need to meet him and Alex. Alex? Yeah, I haven't met Alex either. Yeah, they're really cool dudes. Yeah, I imagine. So, and you also need to meet Chris. I won't, oh, yeah. say, I won't say his last name, but he is watching this show with his friend, uh, his friend Jake. They, they oh, both nice. like this show. I think they got into it because of uh, Destroy All Humans. Oh, so, really? Yeah, thank you for that. Sweet. I, I think that's good that we're, we're playing all these, like, we're playing games that are, like, completely different from each other. Like, oh, yeah. Pikmin has nothing to do with Destroy All Humans. But no, there's... Not even close. I, I've... There was people that, like, I was showing this channel to, 
And they were like, you guys should do Pikmin. And I was like, we are doing Pikmin. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. You didn't tell me that. <laughs> well, I, I, I forgot to tell you. I forgot to mention it. But I just thought it was really funny. That, that is like, funny. You guys should do Pikmin. I'm like, um... um we are. It's <laughs> our, like, one of our first videos. Yeah. So right there. And then we'll expect to get a stronger fan base with the voting stuff we're doing. Oh, we yeah. did one re recently for, uh... I mean, this is... <laughs> This episode's not gonna air till like way later, but uh, like... No, no. Uh, it'll probably air on the same day we start it. Oh, that's good. Yeah. But, uh... We're recording it tonight, but, you know. But we did a poll for Zelda, and, uh... Majora's Mask won, basically. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna change anytime soon, I so... It. Um... I... And if it does, it'll be more in favor for Majora's Mask. Which is good, which is good for two reasons, because one... It's, uh... You know, the fans got to choose it, and two, yeah. that's my favorite Zelda game. So, Even though you've barely played it. I've barely played it, for, but from what I've seen of all of those, of, like, all the different yeah. Zeldas, I've seen gameplay of, like, all of them. From, like, the... It's not just... It's not just I've played it a little bit and then I don't know anything else, but... Yeah. No, I understand. <laughs> from what I've seen, it's... It's... Pretty... Pretty fantastic. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So... That's my favorite Zelda game next to, uh... Link's Awakening on, on the Game Boy. <laughs> really? Yeah. The game is amazing. It's incredible. Oh, speaking of... Uh, speaking of... Uh, uh, speaking of... of, of Handheld games uh, next time. Yeah, we'll talk about I that. I will talk about that. Next time on the uh, the Friendship Express for Pikmin and playing and fun. And nipples. 